overall goal of this method is to mount zebrafish embryos for live imaging that enables the normal outgrowth of the posterior body region. This method can be adapted for the imaging of other regions of the developing zebrafish. This technique helps to answer key questions in developmental biology, such as how individual cell behaviours lead to the morphogenesis of, at the level of whole tissues. The main advantage of this technique is it enables a free movement of the posterior body whilst keeping the embryo in the correct orientation. To begin, Add low melting point agarose at a final concentration of 1.5% to E3 medium in a 50 milliliter tube and dissolve the agarose by heating it in the microwave. Allow the solution to equilibrate to 42 to 45 degrees Celsius in a water bath or benchtop incubator. After pulling glass needles according to the text protocol, with a pair of forceps, break the needle just past the point where it flexes to create a clean and sharp needle for orienting embryos and removing excess agarose. Raise the embryos up to the appropriate stage in E3 medium. Then, under a binocular dissecting microscope, use a pair of sharp forceps to decorionate the embryos. Incubate the decorionated embryos for at least five minutes in tricane working solution. Then use a glass pasture pipette to transfer the decorionated embryo with minimal E3 directly into the 50 milliliter tube of 45 degrees Celsius agarose. Remove the embryo together with approximately 1 milliliter of the mounting agarose and transfer approximately 100 microliters of the medium.